So today's question is, can I get the wifey's Kawasaki Ninja 125 to 60 mile an hour within 12 seconds? Now, I'm not sure if that is possible, but that is what it says on the spec sheet. Apparently, this motorcycle should be able to do 0 to 60 in under 12 seconds. Now, for me, 0 to 30, 0 to 40, even 0 to 50 mile an hour is pretty good going on this bike and is about sub 10 seconds. But trying to get between 50 to 60 mile an hour takes this bike an awful long time. So that's what we're going to test out in today's video. So let's jump on. Let's go. Gosh, my voice is all over the place today. <coughs> Blimey, I've had to do that intro about five or six times because my voice kept breaking. Right, and I've hardly got any fuel in the bike as well, so hopefully we've got that, got that going for us. So the plan is we're going to do a good few runs on this motorcycle, and we're going to see how close I can get this bike's 0 to 60 <laughs> down as little as possible. This road is not that busy, but yeah, there, there, are, there are quite a few people coming up and down this road. It's, it is a Saturday that I'm shooting this one but should be able to get some fairly good times in here. All right, first run. All right, you'll see a timestamp. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Thirty. Forty. Come on, come on. Fifty. Come on. Come on! 60! <laughs> oh man! That was painful! Oh! <laughs> that was so painful! Oh. Alright, let's, let's try another run, shall we? What's the one behind me? Let's see if we can get a better one. Right, that was a warm up. Let's try again. Here we go. 3, 2, 1, go! 20, 30, oh, I've shifted a bit early there, 40, Fifty. come on bike, 60, woo, now that is 60 mile an hour on the speedo, I'm probably doing actually more like 56, 57 mile an hour or so, but the speedo is what we got, so that's what we're going to use. <laughs> Man, I'm having to really tuck into the bike to get any kind of time out of it. I'm Now, what I'll do on the next run is I'm actually going to count in my head the seconds as they, as they go by. I'm really, really not, not convinced that that is 12 seconds, to be honest with you. Right. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and there we are. So in my head that was about 15 seconds, not great. But let's see if we can if we can get that any better, shall we? It's all about the launch. I'm gonna give the bike a bit of a push as well. Right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that was a bad launch. Come on. The last few mile an hour takes so long. <laughs> They're so long. See what I mean? I'm not I'm not convinced. I don't I don't think I've got enough room to to get another one in there, but oh, we're gonna go on the main road instead, because uh might be a little bit a little bit easier I mean but this is quite a flat road though we go up towards the bridge going going onto the main road but we'll, we'll see we'll see if we can do any better I'm still thinking that's between 13 and 15 seconds I really don't think it's any better than that but, well I don't know we'll, we'll see we'll see but 
between 10 and 12 seconds apparently this this bike can do 0 to 60. I've never ever believed that. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get a better launch here. I'm gonna have to dump the clutch and just see if that works. See if we can see if we can launch. All right. Here we go. Ready? That wasn't a good launch either. 45, 50. Oh, I'm out of fuel, I'm running out of fuel. 60. <laughs> the bike is flashing at me about fuel, so probably gonna have to end the video here. I mean, how many runs was that? It was about five or six runs. The bike might be dying on me. <laughs> oh, dearie me, but. Ah, uh, yeah. So I think when it comes to these bikes, you really have got to limit your expectations. Getting from 0 to 30 and 0 to 40 on these motorcycles to me is the most the most um, uh, valuable kind of spec, all right? It's the most valuable time out of these things because you're going to be doing most of that kind of riding, 0 to 30, 0 to 40. That for me is the most important part of these 125cc motorcycles in terms of their performance. Not 30, not to 40. At a stretch, not to 50. But not to 60 is uh, questionable because a lot of it is going to depend on how heavy you are as, <laughs> as the rider. The wind is going to depend on quite a lot of factors. And to be honest with you, as much as I'm not a very good drag racer, I'm not very good at getting off the line quickly on motorcycles. Uh, I thought it would be a little bit easier on this motorcycle, and to be fair, maybe, maybe it is easier, but I don't know. If anyone's out there, let me know if you've been able to get 0 to 60 on a 125 under 12 seconds. Not possible, in my opinion. <laughs> Not possible. But hey, I mean, I weigh, what, 90 kilograms at the moment is what I'm weighing, and with all my kit, with all my gear, I probably weigh about 100 kilograms. So I'd say I'm probably a little bit heavier than than the average person, but ah, this, this this bike should should be able to do it, really, shouldn't it? There we go. Yeah, because like I say, not not to 30, not to 40 on this thing is really good. And you can have so much fun. Anything under 50 mile an hour, you're having a lot of fun on this bike. But when you're looking to do things like dual carriageways, or if you pass your test, get rid of the L plates, motorways, you're gonna really struggle. <laughs> Despite the fact that this is one of the fastest 125s that you can currently buy, at least from new anyway. So you know it's 30 look, look how far ahead I am of that car behind. Despite the fact that, that car is certainly faster than this bike, drivers just, they're, they're too sleepy. They're too sleepy at the wheel. I'm not sure what the reserve tank is on this, how far the reserve tank is supposed to, to go, but I imagine it's not very far, maybe 10 miles, something like that. It's the first time ever that I'm actually finding myself worried about fuel on this bike usually fuel is not a problem on this motorcycle this bike can go a long way on a single tank of fuel oh, wow -wee. these lights are off kilter aren't they <laughs> all those drivers are just being really cheeky <laughs> probably the latter right who knows man it's starting to get really cold now and it's starting to get dark the window that i get over the weekends now to shoot these videos is uh really getting small <laughs> i can't believe it's already dusky and it's i don't even know what what the time is what four o'clock something like that no not not even four o'clock oh dearie me yeah, not to 60 on these bikes. These bikes aren't really designed to go any faster than about 50 mile an hour. I don't know if you could de-restrict them. 
maybe if you de-restricted it you'd be able to get a little bit more out of them but I really don't see much point to be honest with you uh, not, not to 60 on 125 so it's kind of pointless in my opinion but at least they are able to get up to 70 mile an hour well ish <laughs> on the speedo I think the maximum speed I'll be able to get this bike is about 73 something like that so yeah not uh, not great but at least you're able to get to 60 mile an hour trying to stay to seven stay at 70 on this thing is next to impossible by the time you finish your journey by the time you've actually managed to get to 70 mile an hour to begin with i can't believe it though i've, I've tried to film this video twice and i've had issues filming it first with the the light on the dashboard about the dfi system and now running out of fuel <laughs> oh dear oh they, there you go anyway everyone thank you ever so much for watching this one all the way to the end and i hope it's kind of answered a few questions that you might have about 125cc motorcycles if you're looking to buy your first motorcycle hopefully this has given you a good idea of what to expect performance wise this is one of the fastest 125s you can currently buy on the market so yeah you're not going to be going anywhere that fast on one of these things but for any kind of riding that you need to do these bikes will do them no problem no questions asked these bikes will do them but it is going to take longer to get up to those speeds that's the only thing that's the only real difference between this and something that's a little bit bigger is it will take you a good few seconds i say a few a good <laughs> half a minute quarter of a minute longer to get to the top speed or anywhere near the top speed on these things but but yeah there you have it everyone thank you ever so much for watching this one all the way to the end let me know what you think down in the comment section below as always if you've been able to get this motorcycle or any 125 for that matter not 60 under 12 seconds that is four stroke right not two stroke two strokes are much faster than these but yeah anything that's four strokes see on this road here look, I, I, I've got the, uh, the throttle wide open and I am getting a 60 mile an hour just about, but it's taken the whole dual carriageway to get there. <laughs> but anyway, let me know in the comment section what you think as always. Thanks again. Take care, ride safe, and we will catch you all in the next video. Have a good one.